That's right, folks. Today we're going to be testing the new Warpaints Fanatics effects. Now, some of them are old, some of them are remade, there are some have given a new format, and some are brand new. Unlike this disgusting slime, which I thought at first was a fluorescent paint, because my god, was it ever bright on my wet palette. And yes, I'm using the uh, same old Goblin Warriors, but now you're actually going to see them all painted up with speed paints as well on top of that. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, but the disgusting slime on top of that shade wasn't that great. Here's a new one, Oozing Vomit. Now this one actually has a little bit of texture to it. Also, check out my new Facebook page, Easterlings Tabletop Miniatures. Go follow, go like it. I post up some stuff there, some trends, some news, and all sorts of cool things. You guys can also comment your posts and talk about your miniatures if you don't feel like joining my Discord channel, which is also available for you guys to join. Coming back to Oozing Vomit here, so it is much thicker and a disgusting slime. I put some on the base as well, just so you guys can see the effect. And actually, when I painted over this with the uh, with the black, you can see there's an actual texture that dried up on it. Now, the verdigris, I don't know what, but I was expecting it to be a little bit more uh, watered down. Now, I did have water on my brush, and because I wasn't sure how this was going to work, so I started blotching it on, but as you can see, it is blotchy. It's not like the Nihilakide Oxide, or whatever it's called, from Citadel, and in the Verdigree that I used to have from Vallejo, which I thought I still had, and somehow was, I guess it ended up in the paints I sold. Um, but they were more watered down, so definitely add some sort of medium to that one, or uh, just a little bit more water. The dry blood. This I've been looking forward to because Blood of the Blood Gods and their other blood that they used to have, Glistening Blood, was too bright sometimes. Now, I'm just showing you what this one does alone, but I think this mixed in with the True Blood uh, would give a really cool effect of like old and new blood. Uh, I'm going to put some also on the base here just so you can see like how much more brown it is. Or, and if you put it lighter, it is light, but it doesn't become pink like the Glistening Blood used to, especially on top of white. That was like the worst. And next is the True Blood. This one is not as uh, crazy as the predecessor Glistening Blood. In my opinion, it is more like True Blood. It has a nice red hint to it. Uh, it is, uh, you know, you can put it on, you can feather it on if you want, just to make it like as if it was a little bit more dry. You can blotch it on to make it thick and drippy. Uh, I put some on the base as well here, just so you guys can see a little bit as well what it does. You can see that it actually is a little bit thinner than the, uh, tr the dry blood, and the dry blood has a texture to it again. When it dries, it's got a roughness to it. All right, they used to have, I think it was dry rust or something like that. Now they have fresh rust. So it's this like orangey, weird, mushy color. It is a little bit thick again, but I mean, if you put it on, not bad. And then I'm using the same goblin, this time with the dark uh, rust. So this one actually reminded me of their wet mud. When it dries, it's not so bad. But as you're putting it on, it's, it's way thicker than it should be, I think. I don't know if it's, this is supposed to be watered down or with medium. Again, this one is very thick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not going to paint much that's going to have rust on it. So I don't know. Oil stains, the very last one we're looking at here. Very cool if you're going to do orc blood, in my opinion. Because, you know, a lot of times you watch Lord of the Rings, they all have black blood. I don't know about order orcs and other things. I don't remember. But... It works well for black orc blood, I think. So this would be cool on heroes or uh, like, you know, barbarians and stuff like that. Instead of using the blood stuff because, you know, orcs and goblins don't have normal colored blood. And uh, I don't think I'll be using this on cars because I don't paint cars usually. But anyways, very cool. Like it. This is new. This was a neat, neat one. And you can see on the base here. And this one doesn't have a texture to it at all. It just colors nicely. Let's just go over them again. So here's Disgusting Slime. I know you can't see it much, and it's not that great. Oozing Vomit, a little bit better. Has some texture to it. I like it. Uh, dry Blood, much better now. They've added some cool stuff. You mix it in with True Blood, I think it would be perfect. Verdigree, uh, I'm on the fence about this, but I'm going to be testing it more in depth soon. Uh, Fresh Rust, I like it. A little too orange. Not bad. Not great. Dark Rust, more like wet mud. Anyways... Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with these. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.